third and seven. Saints option left. Well, I guess the first back through. Austin Gale, he was stopped. So it's fourth down and four. Another fourth down attempt by the Mustangs. Let's see if they can convert this one here. But this one does not look like it will be a first down. Looks like stopped short was number 24, Sebastian Franklin. So with two minutes left to go, Mustangs converted three fourth down conversions, but could not come up with the fourth. So the Sea Kings take over for Santana, and uh oh Pop goes the weasel. That is another uh, a long run as I'm getting another out of town score here. It looks like Alfred's Peninsula has scored again. Leading now 21 to nothing. Singer. Meantime, though, PBC Kings, they are looking sharp here as they got another big run and get down to the 45. They have enough time on the clock to get more points on the board if they want. Good pressure, though, by the Mustangs. They had the uh, blitz, could not give up containment, and did not uh, finally brought down for the sack by number two, Luke Hale. Luke has had an excellent season for the Mustangs this year. A great senior campaign for the defensive back. Mustangs show blitz. It's run straight up the middle and now, oh, Nice job. Mustangs were right there. That was number nine, Kerbosh low. And number 64, Corey Siddiqui up high. The two combined for the tackle. So it's third down now. Third and long for Palace Verdes. One of the better uh, defensive sequences for the Mustangs right here. PB now goes to the air. It's looks like caught. It will be close to a first down. Let's see. No, he is shy. So good job by the Mustangs defense to come up with key stops right there. 2.4 seconds left to go here in this first half. This should be the last play of the first half. Palos Verde is going to go for the long field goal attempt. It will be a 55-yard attempt. Kick is up. It is high. It's free, and it is good. That is a 55-yard field goal. Boy, Palos Verdes could not do anything wrong in that first half, so they will go into this halftime with a 38-6 lead. Fans, stay tuned. We'll be right back for second half of action after an exciting halftime. <laughs> Two. He didn't lose his jersey, but he has to be eligible to play tonight. He's concussed. That's why he can't play much. 